right now we are with the Abrama Murray, Yo. the man, the myth, the legend itself. <laughs> Abrama, how are you, my friend? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm excited. Okay. Because it, it's it's been so long that I hadn't eaten from you. Yeah, we met a long time ago. A lot. Actually, I was shy to talk about it first because my pronunciation skills, you know, I always talk like a movie star when I talk with myself. <laughs> my pronunciation is always spot on. Yes. But when you talk with someone in real life, in real time, your attention shouldn't be on your pronunciation. It should be on uh, res- uh, sending the message as clear as possible. Yes. So that's yes. why sometimes my accent shifts to Russian, to British, to American. It doesn't matter how I pronounce it, pronounce it as long as Abdurrahman understands what I'm as saying. As long as I understand, right? Yeah. So I, I, luckily we understood each other. And this is why we're here today. We became good friends. You're going to make me a burger, right? I'm going to make you a burger. Uh, I'm going to personally make it for you. I'm also kind of hungry right now. <laughs> and I love making burgers, right? First thing, of course, is we're going to wash our hands. Right? Why not? Yeah, one thing I really uh, care about working in a kitchen is um, cleanliness, being clean. It's very important. If the person cooking the food is clean, the food just tastes better in a certain way. Do you want fries with the burger? Of course. Okay, let's just turn this on. Now our fries are pretty simple. They're not so complicated. We're just gonna, you know, over here, let it heat up. We're gonna come over here. Find the gloves. Do you remember Dabras? I do remember Dabras. That was a very hard video to shoot. Something that's not posted, but... <laughs> it's not on me, brother. It, it wasn't my decision to not it post was my, it. It was my decision, but um, there was reasons behind it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I enjoyed shooting it. It was actually one of the most funnest experiences um, and the struggling. My car didn't have gas. We didn't know if we were going to make it. There, there's a storm. There's, there's a, we were <laughs> stuck in the middle of a storm and no in, one in was the there. On the top of the mountain. On the top of the mountain. Dara's mountain. We walked up. The, the lifts weren't working and it was shut down and there was no one in that area. But we wanted to shoot a we, commercial. We probably walked two kilometers vertically. Yes. Not, not, not horizontally, <laughs> but vertically. We climbed up two kilometers. It was, it was an interesting um, moment. Also very, with, with our gear too, with our, yes. some of our gear. Um, do, we, do we want like a big burger or do we want a small burger? Mm, double decker? Double decker. Oh. That is one of my favorite burgers. This one over here is our double decker sauce. This, all of our sauces actually, we make it in the house ourselves. Um, it's handmade, we make it daily. About that, about that, he didn't give the secret sauce even to me. Like, <laughs> hell no, what, what, what I can do about that? I, I'm not gonna open a burger <laughs> restaurant like Alperen's milkshakes and burgers. <laughs> I wish I could tell you what the secret to it is, but all I can tell you, it's amazing. It's an amazing sauce. All of our sauces, as you can see, is amazing, except for this one. It's just normal mustard. <laughs> but it's Heinz mustard. It is Heinz mustard. We are pretty uh, adamant on our quality that we pick. And especially when it comes to making bread, making uh, recipes, making uh, ingredients, and because we make so much of our stuff fresh. So we're going to make ourselves... Oh, what we have here? This is where we keep our meats. It's yeah. 280 grams. We uh, press the meat ourselves, actually. We buy the meat from one of our distributors and the quality is very good and I like it. I know the place. So we're gonna make you guys a double decker and we're gonna show you guys how to make a double decker. Okay. Now one of the most interesting things that we do in this restaurant, one of our most important things is this bun. Alright. A special mate homemade bun. Yeah, yeah. This is one of my most uh, favorite things actually. This is the most important things of our restaurant actually. And this can take up to almost six to eight hours just to make. Right? Just so eight hours for bread? Just eight hours for bread, man. Just eight hours for bread. I mean, sometimes uh, to have something good, you have to wait for it. Huh, I know, brother. But back in the days, <laughs> our first Ramadan, Ramadan, I have to wait. How, 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 how much? 15 minutes for fuck's sake? 50 minutes. Yes, so uh, if I remember but, correctly. Uh, I'm, I'm not... Uh, you know, holding grudge about it. It's just, no, no. <laughs> it's a funny story to tell. Uh, no, this, so this is something we've dealt with. Um, so 
the thing is that we're not making a fast food uh, uh, oh, yeah. operation here. Almost, that, we're making, that's important. It's not fast. This food. this is a one thing that's very hard to um, get a grasp of. We're actually more of a gourmet burger uh, because the work put into it is very a lot, right? Um, so within time, when you have uh, maybe a full restaurant, uh, it is a very stressful moment uh, for the customer and for us too. Um, and I don't blame the customers because if people wait more than 20 minutes, more than 30 minutes, it's, it's frustrating. I, I would get frustrated too, right? Uh, especially unless, in, unless you, you tell them directly. When you do that, the customer knows, all right, uh, I have to wait for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's okay. But you don't tell them anything. It's just like, where's my burger? Yes, Where yes. Uh, and this is also something we learned, right? Sometimes uh, uh, under the pressure of working, sometimes you're not able to understand timing that well. Yeah. So sometimes you, we, when we're working in the kitchen, we can't even tell that customer is working for, waiting for 30 minutes. We think the customer is waiting for 10 minutes, 10, 15 yeah. minutes, right? Uh, because of under the pressure, right? So like as he said, when he came in the beginning, he waited 50 minutes, right? Um, I think at that moment, we were making maybe 40 burgers at once, maybe? It, 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 was, was, it was full. It was uh, iftar. It was iftar time, yes, Ramadan, and everyone came at iftar time, and everyone comes at the same moment. Um, now we could deal with it. Now we're capable of dealing with certain issues now. So usually we cut our buns up. This is another patty we're going to use now. All right. For the bread. We're going to make you guys a double decker. It's a two layered, basically a uh, burger. It's a pretty big burger. We're going to enjoy it. Okay. We're going to cut this nicely. Look at that inside. All right. As you can tell, we're cutting our own buns. We make our own buns. It's a special kind of thing, but it's special. Everything's special over here. The buns. Ah, oh, I have to talk about it. Yes. Right. I, I have to talk about it. Go for it. So, the buns yes. is not heavy to eat, and the, the feeling inside your mouth, the texture, is flawless. Yes. Not chunky. No. Not you know textury. No. Like walls, a brick walls. It's not like a brick wall. It's yeah. fluffy in a certain way. <laughs> Just so take the burgers. We go to the university <laughs> and put the meat in there. People's mouths. Yeah. Well, we thought about it. We thought about if there's a way to cook meat in people's mouths. <laughs> no, not not doing that one. But uh, cooking people food um, in a different location, right? So mm -hmm. it was more that we didn't really understand how to move because we wanted to give something hot and fresh, actually. Yeah. Right. So uh, cooking a certain amount and giving it out to people is a it was a hard task. Is why we haven't done it yet, actually. But uh, we do think about it sometimes. Are we going to do it? Uh, it's unclear right now. It's unclear. But probably down in the future, we might do something like that if we're capable of doing it. So yeah, I think we would probably... It, it will be a great marketing. Oh, it? wait, you are not doing your own chips? So, okay. So <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we used to do our own chips. Why we stopped actually was because when we used to do our own chips, it would become too oily, let's say. Okay. It's too oily, all right? Um, and we would have a lot of problems with it. This is one of our potatoes that we buy from outside, from one of the suppliers. And this is actually one of my favorite potatoes. You can see it's shaped a little bit differently. It's like a boat. It's so good for dip saucing. Yeah, for dip saucing. That's, that's how he sold it to me. The guy is like, you want to buy this? He's like, look, just put ketchup over here. <laughs> I was very convinced oh, that. Oh, wait, actually, that. you can put meats or anything right there, too? Technically, technically, you can. Yeah, you can. Let's be a little bit more generous, Ed. Other two pieces just for us, right? Why not? We're gonna leave this over here on the side now. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna tea feel our nice pan. We can see it's smoking up a little bit now. Just the heat a little bit because you don't want to have something not cooked when you eat, take a bite of it, right? It's raw. It's fucking raw. <laughs> it's, it's raw, right? So, um, uh, in that way, what we do is that actually we didn't act, we never used to cover it before, but now we cover it. Right, so it's, it helps us with kind of, it's like almost like a small oven on top of the grill. Most of our burgers are actually pretty simple, but it's the hard work that's put in before creating the burger that matters the most. And the way you make the burger is very important. The amount of salt you put, right? Like Gordon Ramsay, I guess. I, I wouldn't say I'm Gordon Ramsay, but, but yes. This right now is one of my favorite burgers, Double Decker. We're going to take favorite. our buns over here. Okay. Right. We're going to put them right buns. over here. Okay. And then another layer we're going to use. The third one. Third bun. Third bun. There's always 
two layers over here. So we're gonna keep cooking this up nicely. This is my favorite spatula. You have a favorite spatula? Yes, I have two favorite spatulas actually. There's another one somewhere else. How I don't know where it is. How many spatulas do you have? So we have this one and then we have another one, which is a bit longer than this. Okay. It's bigger and longer. You can flip two patties at once with it. But this one is my favorite spatula. It's, I feel like it's nice. You can gab the, the bottom nicely. You can cook it nicely. It's easy to use. I love this. This is my favorite spatula. I'll never stop using this spatula. <laughs> Anyways, while our buns are getting toasted over here. Yeah. Of course, I'm gonna keep toasting this nicely. Do you like butter on your buns? Mm, if you think it will make it better. I think it will make it better. I think a lot of things will make a lot of things better in life. With butter. With butter. Yeah, that's what With she butter. said. <laughs> Cheddar cheese butter. Oh, cheddar cheese? Cheddar cheese. Well, no, not just any cheese butter. <laughs> this is just a normal butter, actually. Oh, oh, okay. It's not so complicated, not so hard. But who doesn't love butter? Butter is important in life, man. If you didn't have butter in life, stuff wouldn't taste as good as it does, right? Tell me this to my gym <laughs> membership. Gym <Sellers>. membership. <laughs> they keep telling me not to have butter. I'm gonna just. Look at that sizzle. Oh, oh my god. god. We love that sizzle. Aren't your hands burning from the heat? Uh, or you get used to it? You kind of get used to it through time, to be honest. Oh, that is so beautiful. Wow. Let's grab some of that butter, though. Nice and crisps. Nice and crisps. Okay. Do you think the meat is ready? Mm, I have no idea. I like my my meat done medium, well done over there, like around there, right? Um, but for customers, we make it well done or, or overcooked, right? Not overcooked, uh, over well done. <laughs> right? Overcooked, <'Cause> burnt. burnt. <laughs> and people ask that sometimes. They they want it more cooked. And oh. We're okay like with that, right? Like yes. Look at that meat. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. That's like the perfect color you want. Oh, it has like that nice brown color to it. Oh, that's nice. That is so nice. That is so nice. Wow. I I'm like, I think one the one thing that I know for the past two years of having a restaurant open is that. Even though I have burgers continuously, okay, I've never ever gotten sick of my burgers. Okay. That's true, by the way. I ate four <laughs> and didn't get sick. Yeah, man. Like I, um, I know. Like it's really hard for me sometimes when I'm cooking in this kitchen. Let's say we have an order from outside. I, I love uh, people's opinions. Usually, usually people they give uh, good opinions, even if it's bad. Even it's bad. It's very important. I think bad comments, uh, critical uh, comments, people who tell you things, right? It helps you actually think about um, what something tastes like or how to make something, right? Uh, even within the two years of being here, I've gotten a few uh, comments about some things, and I uh, actually tried my best to try those out. Try what the people have told me. Sometimes they're they're correct, actually. They're correct, and I take advice from other people, and it works out better. I'm cooking burgers for other people, but I want to eat it myself. <laughs> I really want to eat it myself, man. It's, it's really tempting. You don't understand when you're cooking something so good, so uh, fresh, in front of the customer itself, right? And you're, you know it's so good because you're making something so good for the customers that you just want to eat it yourself, man. But, <laughs> of course we don't. Right? So we're gonna put as one far point. as we know. <laughs> as far as we know. Other than that, why did the order come out late? We, earth, we ate the first burger. Oh, by the way, I have to tell this. Yes. Uh, because the, the reason sometimes orders get late. Yes. It's you guys really putting your hearts to it. Yes. Okay, the, the thing is that when you make a burger, a lot of it, it's on time. Right, so we've been over here, how long have we been recording for? Mm, 12. Minutes? 12 minutes, right? So we've been here for a nice almost 10 minutes, I think, right? Yes. We can look back at it. You can tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so for this double decker, we're just going to put a nice simple amount of onions, okay? Wait, double decker has onions? I yes. didn't know that. Yeah, it has onions, man. Huh? It has onions, right? My mother crying right now <laughs> I don't like to put so onions. So we don't put pickles on our double decker, but do you want pickles? Mm, if you're going to make it better? Some people really, really love pickles on their double decker. Do you love it? I sometimes do it, sometimes I don't. But it's an optional thing. 
Okay. So it's it's depending on how I feel. Alright. Let's add just a few pickles. Alright. Alright. It doesn't hurt us. It doesn't it doesn't hurt us, exactly. Alright. This burger is the most simplest and one of the most tastiest burgers I I think I've had in my whole life. Alright, so we're just gonna take this from the bottom now. Take it from the bottom, that's what she said. <laughs> Yes, so for example, it, it, they could say it's too salty. Really? Right? I always found bland back in the days. Yeah, there you go. So it, that's another thing, right? You have to filter <laughs> people's... Uh, uh, some person might think it's salty, one person might think it's not salty, right? So that's a personal t uh, difference, right? But even though um, it's, it was like this, right? Um, you start to come to a good ratio. So like this burger right now, did you think it was bland? No, right? So... Now we've come to like a certain amount of salt and salt uh, pepper, where like it kind of it's not so salty, but it's salty. So, like as he said when he first came, he thought it was more bland, but right now he felt like there was more salt in it. So, in that way, I guess now we have correct, and that's because uh, we would have not changed it probably if it was not uh, someone telling me or me not listening to someone actually. So uh, that's one thing that we like to do actually a lot is to hear other people's opinions and try to make it better. Right, we're only looking to ever, ever make our burgers only better. That's all. Taking criticism and uh, not making it personal no. is the most important thing you can do with your art, actually. Yeah. And when I'm I mean, saying art, yeah. it's not the, you know, the creative arts. The, the food is an art. Culinary arts. Mm -hmm. I guess it's formally. It is, it is. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Right on this nice. Ah, oh, that's so perfect. Hey, so I know this burger is gonna be good, and I know I'm gonna enjoy it so much. I know I'm gonna love this. I know we're we're gonna love this burger. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna eat it right now. Okay, this is the most trickiest part: is the lettuce. It always falls off. Okay? Yes, it all. It's so hard to put it together. And our special double decker sauce that I love so much to put. I mean, it's white, so it has to be have egg, ranch sauce, mayonnaise. I, I can't, I don't know, man. <laughs> the meat is perfect, the cheese is perfect. Everything's perfect right now. I think this is one of my favorite burgers. Honestly. My, look at this. Come on, tell me that does not look good, bro. Gorgeous. Add that sauce in. Just recently, like one week back, I had one customer and they, they told me like, um, your burgers are better than when you first opened. And that's something really good to hear from customers sometimes. A regular customer. A regular yeah. customer. All right. So they've come here. They've been coming to our restaurant for two years, uh, and now I know these customers, right? And they're they're telling me that like, listen, you, this burger that we just had today is better than when you opened up. And I was like, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> that's what I want to hear. And I'm and they're the ones who also told me critical thinking. They told me, hey, we don't think this is that good and I'm like you know what let me look into it and I did look into a few things right and then with the advice and help of other people just we fixed everything and it now it's just better and better oh do you think uh, you're gonna sell your sauce ever um so we thought about it our sauce is actually we put a lot of time even even the bread so the bread takes almost six to eight hours our sauce sometimes takes an hour or less it could take less sometimes Right, and I make the sauces myself. Look at just look at this burger right now. Come look at that. That is what is that? I would say that's like juicy. That's perfect. I and the buns are just perfect too. Yeah. Come right back up. The bun to meat ratio. Perfect. Perfect. Let's just take this over here. Put on a nice trusty thing. Take this. Yeah. Look, if you can ever take people's advice then, or people's. Um, critical think uh, it's called thinking or critical problems right you'll never actually uh, be able to improve anything right so it's actually me just listening to a lot of people and trying to figure out the best solution and that's what I usually usually did since the beginning of uh, opening this restaurant and it's why some things have changed some things have become better Over here okay. side I'm gonna take one big cut down there And oh, I <laughs> this is just really oh my god, this is nice. So that was looks like from inside. You can see the smoke coming out. Yes. 
right? I don't remember one time I eat a cold burger from it. Yes, and that's because we don't like serving cold burgers, right? And if it does ever come to that uh, moment where it's cold, uh, I get upset and we, we would give just a burger again, right? If it ever came to that. You're going to take a bite and you're going to tell me how you like this, okay? You already know. You already know. I mean, you yeah, put that on the side. It's I'm going to... Oh, burger. Take one nice big bite of that. Look at this. It's bomb. Just... You know, it, it's good. Um, grows back. I don't know the words, but... It doesn't stay in no, that shape. It's nice and fluffy. It's fresh. Ah, oh, fluffy. Yeah, that, that, that's, that was the word. But I'm going to eat it. Usually I dump it mayo and other things, but... Take that bite, bro. Take the bite. It's hot and fresh, bro. I really need to know the... Sauce. <laughs> It's not about, about me. It's, it's not about, about me. It's more. It's mainly about the burgers. It's but about I, the art. Yeah, it's about the art. Right? He knows Turkish, but he didn't prefer to speak. <laughs> My Turkish is not so good. I only know just a certain amount. <laughs> I would speak Turkish, but uh, it doesn't go that far. Um, How good is my English? Your English is... Uh, sorry, what did you say? How good is my English? It's good. It's good. It's good. I, the thing is that um, the one way to know your English is good is if someone's able to have a conversation with you and we didn't really have any problems with our conversation so i think that's that's a really good sign so i think uh you should be happy that we were able to have a conversation and both understand each other and i do speak a bit fast so that's a that's another plus point for you understanding me years of hollywood movies YouTube years videos, of hollywood eminem eminem music so, eminem yeah. music <laughs> I, I really miss that yeah <laughs> i know i made it first for you man you and me we walked, uh, you know, additional one kilometer just for the sake of a good shot. Yes, yes, we did. <laughs> we did do that. Um, I mean, it, it's my duty as, as the, you know, creator mind behind it. I have to do it because if I do it, the other team members are going to do it. They mm -hmm. see it. It's the leadership. And you take it further from that. You drown the climb. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something i never seen in other business owners actually <laughs> yeah so um i get this comment quite a bit actually now and then uh i actually i enjoy doing the work sometimes with people and uh, even sometimes it does affect my timing but it's more enjoyable to do certain things together with people uh and i think it encourages each other in a way right because it feels like both people care for each other oh it's a little bit of yellow on the stew yeah a little bit yellow, a little bit brown. Yeah, so there's the, there should be... What can give a yellow color? <laughs> to sauce? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe cheddar. <laughs> but how you make a cheddar a creamy? Like this. <laughs> there, there should be cream? No, there, there should... All right, I, I'm not going to reverse engineering yourself. Don't question it, man. Some <laughs> things are not... No, curiosity kills the cat sometimes. How much centimeter is it? I think one question... I would, it maybe in the future, would be is after I actually succeed on what I, my goal was, is uh, someone asked me, was it worth it? Oh. Right? And I want to know what my future response is. Not, not, because right now it's a question I don't know even know how to answer. But it's if I would think about in the future, mm -hmm. if stuff were to work out really well, yep. if someone asked me, was it worth it? All right and i would answer it then so i don't have the answer for that because i don't know <laughs> but i guess we'll figure out in the future if someone ever asks me that question the funny thing is before coming here yeah i ate a pizza like oh. a whole ass pizza so you know it's it's oh. even i'm a fat guy i have a very big stomach <laughs> it's still a lot to take um, yeah this you know, bread to meat ratio, also the bread's fluffiness, yes. makes it easier. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to eat or, you know, when you eat something, mm -hmm. uh, you get this feeling of, oh my god, oh no, hell no, K kind of sickness yeah. from the, 
that doesn't make this. Yeah. You don't feel like it ever. I, right. I never felt like it. By the way, I never felt like it when I eat six in a row, mm -hmm. when we shoot the menu. I, I'm not going to tell you uh, we shoot the menu because I want to eat all the burgers for free or <laughs> it was just up to romance courtesy. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be uh, mystery for mystery. everyone. So let's agree hmm. to meet again and do a video okay. update on this topic in five years. Five years, yes, five years it is. If I'm alive, I would love to. Right, inshallah. Right. Inshallah, man, inshallah. Thank you, Abdurrahman. No, thank you, Alfred. For uh, your time and your meat and your you know, hand taste. Yeah, yeah, man, of course, man. <laughs> I, I'm happy to make you guys burgers anytime, right? You help me a lot. So, yeah, I, I appreciate you for coming too, man. I miss this. Miss that. Miss this for fuck grammar. I like it. <laughs> mm, mm. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah. No, it is not amazing. Like I always said, when you make a burger, if Gordon Ramsay was here, he would say, it's fucking delicious. <laughs> it's fucking delicious. It's just fucking delicious, man. Oh, by the way, your prices, it's normal. Yes, so... Uh, I, I have said that it's fair. It is price. a fair pricing. Uh, for our, actually the cost of our burgers being very expensive to make. Um, our pricing is actually really low, right? Uh, we do this actually try to help every, every uh, other people out too. Um, so people are able to actually eat our food. Um, but yes, our pricing of our burgers are, I think I would say is one of the cheapest burgers for the most gourmet. I wouldn't say cheapest, but the most fair price burgers for a gourmet burger, I'm I would say. Putting the gourmet thing aside, mm -hmm. when you compare it, Compare it with McDonald's or Burger King. It's still cheap. That was the first thing I surprised when I saw the new menu. Yes, yes. I was like, wait, it's, it's cheaper than McDonald's? How the hell you manage that? <laughs> so, um, because it's hard to manage. To yes. Make it cheaper than a yes. um, you know franchise. It is. It is very complicated. Uh, and it could, it could be a problem sometimes for us. A very big problem. Um, and we're trying our best, right? So. The, the only problem is if the customers are not enough, it's a very big problem for me, right? Uh, but as long as we have a good flow of customers, it, we still are able to run the restaurant then, right? Uh, returning customers. Returning customers are very- Regular ones. Regular ones, right? Um, make sure to get more customers, right? And that's very important. That's what we do most of the time. What was the other favorite of mine? Signature? Signature, oh, yes. right? Yes, we can use it. Yeah, the, the, there's two favorites of mine. I love all the burgers, by the way, in the menu, except the mushroom one, because I don't like mushroom that much. Mm -hmm. But when we're shooting the menu, mm -hmm. I liked it anyway. It's, it's, it's just something else. Mm -hmm. it, it's, and it tells you how good your burgers are. Yeah. It even make it to a person who doesn't even like mushroom yeah, that yeah, much. Yeah. And strangely, the thing is, the first place of these burgers was fully yours, right? It's yes. just your taste, your um, in, in, intuition. Yes, yes. Intuition. So, uh, fuck the word. <laughs> but right now, it's much more of collaboration. You trust people, you just... Um, it's, it's everyone's. Mm -hmm. Burger mm -hmm. kind of thing. In no way. Dir directed by your region? Yes. 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 The coloration. Yeah, so like I can make something for me, which is amazing, but that could be only maybe towards me. But for other people, it could be a little different. Right? So I think that's one thing uh, sometimes hard to implement, right? So you have a new flavor to give out, but that new flavor, you still have to adjust it to a certain degree so that other people are able to also adapt to it and like it, right? So. Uh, because most of what we uh, give is new things that a lot of people in this area right, have not tasted, or in Turkey actually, a lot of people have not tasted our food. Right? So when people taste our food, they kind of get confused because it's a new taste. They don't know how to react that our taste buds yeah. aren't, didn't work that way. Exactly. Right? So I th what's one hard thing about uh, our restaurant was because our taste is so different compared to a lot of places, um, when people eat it, they get a bit confused, actually, right? 
well, not in a bad way, but um, more confused. Like I don't understand this taste, right? Um, and I think through time, some people first were like, "Wait, what is this?" And then it's like, "Wait, I actually like this," right? So through time, you get people start to understand more of your uh, your taste, and they actually enjoy it more. Right, so then I adjust it according to how customers like it, and then as I said, like, and and I'm able to just make it better, and better for the environment that we have over here. I can't describe how I feel with it right now. Like, I'm kind of jealous because you're gonna eat the other part, and also I feel like he should eat that too because you know it's something so gorgeous. We need to share. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh my god, I'm giving my social messages to people, god's <laughs> sake. I'm gonna wrap up my part mm -hmm. talking about this English thing. Yeah. Because in Turkey, a lot of people so hesitate to talk in English. With people, with yes. the thing and the pronunciation thing. And you uh, know my very well pronunciation when I you know, think and talk slow. I can pronounce it very well. Except few fucking words. Yet, I think when you're talking with people in real time, in real life, yeah. your mm, main, no, your priority number one shouldn't be pro your pronunciation. No, no. Uh... It should be being clear and being able, able, you know, being able to send the message, deliver the message. Yeah, I guess delivering the message is important, right? Even for English, even if someone knows English, if you're able to deliver the messages, yeah, that's the, I, I, I would agree, I guess. Yeah, so yeah. don't be afraid about talking in a very bad accent or talking in a very bad pronunciation. Just talk it and do it. Yeah. In a business too, and in I mean, English too. I hope there is a, some kind of English uh, service that teach people to talk and learn English honestly, to sponsor me right now. <laughs> I, I honestly, I think communication is the most important thing. Yeah. And I think that's... Uh, the reason why I can't lose my weight. It's Murray's Burgers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. These men always give me the best burgers. We had a great day, I think. I had a pretty good day. Great two days. Great two... Yes, he came yesterday too. So yeah, it was a great two days. Out of nowhere, you're just, I'm here, man. Out of nowhere, yeah. This, this was never planned for, actually. None of this was. It happened, and why not? So we buy meat almost every day, and we press it ourselves over here. Hand press it. This is one of our pressing machines. So we will put the meat inside there, and we kind of just go, and it's made, right? It looks like emotions from the Soul movie. <laughs> yeah, it was, we will be over here for a nice, uh, I think, one hour just preparing meat. Every day. So every day we do prepare meat uh, fresh and it's really good quality meat. So uh, that's really important. Actually, all of the ingredients that we use in everything that we eat, wh whatever you take a bite of is quality, yes. right? And we make sure of it, right? And that goes to the meat, that goes to the bread, that goes to the ingredients we use to make every single thing in this burger. Every single thing. Also, in all fairness to you, yeah, it's your first uh, restaurant, right? Yes. As far as yes. And also, how old are you? <laughs> I'm currently right now, twenty three years old. It's twenty three. I'm twenty three too. By the way, I opened this restaurant on, uh, with my uh, brothers and my sister. Um, you have a sister? I have a sister. Yes. Uh, my brother and sister, and they helped me uh, create this idea together, and I'm running it currently now. But they are also a part of this, and. Um, they helped me quite a bit and understanding and helping me when I was stuck. So, um, yes, when we opened it, I was 21 actually. 21? Uh, Probably 21, 20, maybe. 21, 20, yeah. Around there. Because on the month. Yes. Because I just turned 23 recently. But uh, before I was, when we opened this, 21. I think I was 21. And uh, from there, I've learned quite a bit, quite a bit of this restaurant. Um, and learning how to manage and run restaurants. So now I'm pretty well, well off and I understand how to do everything. Recently, we've been getting good reports. We've been getting people who continuously tell us like, you know, these burgers like, why is Sparta, right? Why is it over here, right? Uh, it was a test that we tried and it just turned out that 
we were decently really good at it. And now we're trying to work on a bigger project right now for the restaurant itself. Um, Something like a, in video games, there's big updates. Like yeah, it's, real it, it's almost like a big update. We're, we're, we're trying to, yes, yeah, so we're trying to update the restaurant in a way. So if that goes, uh, there'll be multiple new things. And I think a, mul a new environment that uh, you will see, right? right? There'll be a few changes, uh, obvious ones. Um, and I think people are gonna love it once it's done. We came this far and uh, we we're planning to expand. So once that happens, maybe you can come again and we'll show you. All right, always. Yeah, yeah and you know what? Like, that's it. I'm just gonna enjoy this burger. Enjoy you your meat, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this, man. All right, anyways, thank you everyone for everything. Um, This is how you make a double decker, so you can make it at home, but we can just can't give you everything. But we showed you how we make it. It's not so hard. It's a simple burger with few special ingredients. You give a really good amount of creative freedom. You, 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 I think you thinking your mindset is like this. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. And I know what I want, and I trust him to mm -hmm. his process. To yeah. give me what I want, yeah, and do his thing, however he wants, yeah. So you don't micromanage the process, don't micromanage anything. There's only yes. one ask you did, yes, and it was a very reasonable ask. By yes, the way. but at the time I was a little, oh God, I planned it very differently. If we change the outfit, I have to change the whole story. <laughs> It's on me, by the way, uh, but. After that, I realized he, this is the only thing you ever asked, and you gave still freedom to us. Yes, yes. So, um, yeah, as you said, so those certain things, uh, I like when I whenever I make people work with me, um, I want them to actually use their creativity yeah. more than mine, right? Or work together with creativity, right? I don't want to um, command like Alpern, hey, do this, do like this, do like this. I want you to show me. What what do you think is the best route, right? So uh, I think through time I, I figured out what the it's how I work actually. It's how I, I do most of my work is I like to hear creativity from other people more than me giving my own opinion. Words cannot describe its delusions. Delusions. Ah, fuck that word. Delicious. 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 Deliciousness. A lot of people misunderstand me, right? So when I eat something good, I tend to not actually say anything. I tend to never say anything. So sometimes people get the wrong idea from me. Like, do you not like my food? And I'm like, no, no, I love it. It's why I'm not saying anything. So... Um, you just want to be one with the burger. Yes, one with the burger. And this is just... It's, just... it's just so good. Even... It's been waiting over here for like a nice 10 minutes. And it's still good. That's, that's how good it is, okay? Mm -hmm. If it's cold and you eat it, it's still good. All right, I'm gonna leave you alone with your burger, your meat. Just put it in your mouth. All right, just enjoy it. <laughs> See you, man. You know, in movies, there's always someone who's so crazy, just comes out of nowhere, nowhere. <laughs> and you know, then goes nowhere too. You just can't do it. And because of, you know, we don't message too much in these two years. We yes. message, but not that much. So I, correct, correct. I, I thought it will be great because our relationship, our you know, dynamic of energy was mm -hmm. great. So my coming out of nowhere, nowhere, yeah, wouldn't make him angry or oh, oh I have a job to do. I no, know, no, what no. are you doing, man? <laughs> oh, I'm not yet. I yeah. I am extremely busy, but yes. um, I could usually spend some time. Like I would, uh, I, I'd love this moment. So uh, Alperin told me he's here for a few days, and I said, you know what? Uh, he's probably not going to be here next week, so I have to do what I can now. So Probably one year. <laughs> one, two years. We'll see, maybe I'll go there, maybe I'll meet him. Who knows, right? We'll figure it out. You are always welcome, my yeah, friend. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, it's uh, it, was a, it was a good moment. Thank All you. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you for everything. It's too low. <laughs> yeah. We have to do it up here. Yep. All right. Thank you for everything, Alpha. Thank you for Hopefully everything. we'll meet again in the future. And uh, All right, that's podcast. it. Three... Two, one, and see you in the next episode, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>